surveying their property, Sri Lankan style. Rob and Paddy bought this plantation in Valigama five years ago. Both investment bankers, they felt the 50-acre tea and cinnamon plantation would be a good investment. But that wasn't the only reason. When you're in Sri Lanka, it's always a little bit of heart as well as head, because at the end of the day, um, you know, the country is so beautiful, it has so much to offer, um, that uh, that in itself is, is, a, is a key attraction. The couple are among a growing number of foreigners who have invested in Sri Lanka. Properties in the historic Gulf Fort, beach villas and ancestral homes like this one are popular choices. But restrictive rules and constant changes regarding ownership had been a concern. The government make changes very often on to what a foreigner can and can't do, um, what are the, the, um, the benefits of, of doing things, tax breaks, um, and that's an uneasy situation at times. Despite that, demand has driven up prices. One real estate agent told Al Jazeera that the cost for a 25 square meter block of prime beachfront land had gone up from $700 to $15,000 within a few years. The number of foreigners buying land in Sri Lanka has risen sharply, especially in recent years since the end of the war here. With land ownership laws being relaxed, analysts say that number is likely to increase further. As a start, the government has reduced the tax on long-term leases to foreigners from 16% to 1%. Ivan Robinson is a British property advisor who has lived in Sri Lanka for 15 years. He says he's confident that the changes will spark further interest. I think there will be probably a lot more interest in the market over the coming year because the government will finish drafting the new laws by the end of February and they have promised to relax or lift the restrictions on foreigners buying property. As the country begins courting foreign investment, analysts say stability is vital. We expect this government to, to maintain a stable environment over the next five to ten years, uh, bring in a lot of clarity uh, so that the investors know exactly um, the kind of environment that they're dealing with and uh, the returns they can expect. Rob and Paddy have ambitious plans for their plantation and hope a stable new investment climate will help them achieve them. Yeah. Vinay Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Gold.